In today's video, we're going to go through the best raid builds for farming items from the new Blissey Spotlight Terror Raid event that will be happening later this week in Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So starting on Friday the 24th and running through to Sunday the 26th of March, this event for Blissey, the Spotlight Terror Raids, will be going live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. By beating Blissey, it's announced that players will receive higher amounts of Terror Shards in particular and level up candy. So this event for those particular items on its own makes this very appealing for a lot of trainers. It's going to make getting Terror Shards in particular a lot easier than the normal means that we have to go through in game currently. And of course, we do already have a blissey five and six star terror raids in our games so we've got some reference that we can go off with what we expect to see from these blisseys now if we hop over to cerebi we can see the current five star raid for blissey here level 75 which we expect it to be random terror type of course and the attacking moves are going to be dazzling gleam hyper voice and seismic toss and the disruptive moves, which are probably more important for this one. Blissey never really known for being an offensive threat, are gonna be gravity, which is an additional move, and sing. So gravity increases the accuracy of moves for five turns, and then sing a low accuracy sleep condition move is gonna have its accuracy boosted, meaning that it's gonna hit a lot more often, disrupting your flow, being able to slow down these raids and the farming time that it takes to beat these blisses. So they're something to consider. Obviously, these are just reference points for us. We don't have any concrete information saying this is exactly what the Blissey is going to be in these Spotlight Terror Raids, but we'll cover it as soon as it goes live, so we'll have a better idea on Thursday night when the event goes up. But with this information in mind, we can put together Pokemon and teams that are going to be really good going in against Blissey and cover all of its different types, because that's going to be the main problem here, covering all 18 different types and making sure that you've got ways to get through these dens super quickly to get the most out of these item drops and get them as quickly as possible. So as you can see on the screen right now i have an easy farming complete type coverage team now, now this team consists of all physical type attackers which you know blissey if you look at its base stats it has a really high hp but it has a tiny defense stat so that's the stat that you're going to be wanting to hit it on physical attackers are the ones that you want to bring into these raids don't go with anything that primarily relies on its special attack you are just going to want to use physical attackers for this you're going to want physical attackers as well that can set up quite easily and way is if possible to get around the disruption that Blissey can cause through potentially the thing that we've seen on the terror raids that already exist in the games. So the first one we're going to cover is going to be Iron Hands. It's going to cover normal rock, steel and water with its fighting and electric coverage. We're going to have King Gambit that covers obviously the steel typing, which hits fairy ice. And then it's dark typing, which hits ghost and psychic for super effective damage. So Titan is another Pokemon that has access to belly drum, a very quick setup. And with its ice typing can hit things like grass, flying and ground for super effective as well as dragon. Then we're going to have Garchomp as well, going to be another physical attacker has quick setup with sword stance going to be able to hit poison electric and fire for super effective damage with its ground type attack and obviously you can throw in rock and steel as well with garchomp so a lot of these are interchangeable but they do specifically cover certain types that aren't covered by the others azumarill going to be there for its fairy typing a quick setup as well with belly drum Fighting types, dragon types, dog types primarily are going to be the ones that you're going to want to take in against Azumarill. Of course, it does get water coverage as well, so you can hit things like ground, fire, and rock that are also like affected by water, are super effective, and Azumarill gets access to it. And then the last Pokemon is Ursaring. It has quick setup as well, but Bug was one of the types that was kind of left out from these other five Pokemon, so we needed to cover that for super effective damage somewhere. Ursaring gets access to Belly Drum and it also gets access to Rock Slide, which hits bug types for super effective damage. So Ursaring fits the bill as well as with its coverage, which we'll see in a minute when we cover the actual build covers a lot of these different types. So between these six Pokemon, you're gonna be able to get them in your games and literally go through any Blissey Terror Raid that does appear uh, with a good strategy behind you and a quick way to get rid of the Blissey and farm these items very quick in your games to make sure you get the most out of this event. So now if we hop over into game, we can take a look at the actual builds. We're starting off 
with iron hands of course it is going to be that fighting and electric type and this one is going to have the terror type fighting can be electric if you would like both work going into the blissey raids gonna have the citrus berry as its item and i've chose this because a lot of players already have iron hands built in their game so it should be a quick one to pick up and take into these raid events we're gonna have the moveset belly drum electric terrain thunder punch and drain punch now electric terrain is probably the most important one if we do see that sing gravity combination on the blissey you're gonna want to set this up turn one that will prevent the blissey from being able to put you to sleep and slow your momentum down so the next turn after that belly drum up citrus berry will activate you get a bit more health back and then you're going to be able to do a lot of damage especially if it is the normal rock or steel terror type you're going to be able to get a lot of health back as well by doing it and then an ev spread we've got is going to be 252 hp 252 attack and obviously with the electric coverage you're going to be able to hit things like flying type terror type blissey and the water type as well which is quite nice just for that coverage alone uh, we've got an adamant nature on this iron hands as well so that is the iron hands build next one up is going to be king gambit we've went for the steel terror typing on here because we haven't really got a specific poison type user in this team so we're going to really need the steel terror typing to give us that extra boost against the specific fairy type blissies got the shell bell item on here and then we have an ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack within adam and nature now all these physical attackers are going to have that same ev spread and nature we've got the defiant ability on this king gambit and then move set of torn sword stance iron head and kowtow cleave now the sword stance is going to be there to give us boosting options so we can hit harder you're going to want to get three of those up and then taunt is there probably the first turn you want to go for this if that sing is an option it means that the blissey can't use any of its disruptive status attacks so sing won't be an option for you if you use taunt and then you're just going to want to sword stance up and hit it with the kowtow cleave or the iron head if it is the fairy type and of course so that is the king gambit next one up which is going to be Satitan, going to primarily cover your grass your flying and your ground types obviously gives you dragon coverage as well if you want to take it in against that going to have the ice terror typing just to get that extended boost on top of the ice type attacks going to hold the citrus berry here and then an ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack with an adam and nature thick fat the ability not really going to matter too much on the Satitan here with the move set of Belly Drum, Sleep Talk, Ice Spinner, and Icicle Crash. Now, Belly Drum is going to be the move that you use first turn. If Sing is an option on the Blissey, Sleep Talk is here for you to click if you do get put to sleep. So Titan is a Pokemon that unfortunately doesn't get access to Taunt, doesn't get access to any of the terrains, so you're going to have to get around the sleep issue some other way. You could just go for a heal cheer, but then the next turn the Blissey might just put you to sleep again. You've only got three of those, so if it takes longer than that, it might get a bit tricky. Sleep Talk at least gives you the option for just clicking that button if you do get put to sleep after your belly drum and then you're going to have a 50 percent chance to hit one of your ice type attacks that's why we've got two ice type attacks on this move set so every time you hit the sleep talk you're going to have that 50 percent chance to at least hit one of them to do some big damage to the blissey and not waste your turns just sleeping doing nothing then we move on to our next one which is going to be garchomp primarily covering poison electric and fire type blissey that we'll see in these terror raid events got the ground terror typing again just to extend the damage that we'll be able to do with our ground type attacks shell bell is the item of choice here because it is going to give us a way to recover health so we don't need to worry about that too much if it does have dazzling gleam the blissey it will hit us for super effective damage of course being a dragon type until we terrestrialize so you've got to have some sort of recovery and then you again don't want to be relying on the heal cheers too much although it is an option if you're in a bit of a bind move set that we've got is sword stance sleep talk stomping tantrum and earthquake very similar to the satite and garchomp unfortunately doesn't get access to taunt or any of the terrains to prevent the sleep from the blissey so the way to get around that again is like the same lines as where we went with Satai and with that sleep talk that you can just click so you're primarily going to want to get those sword stance up first hit that three times if you get put to sleep then you can hit sleep talk and then you've got the chance of either earthquake or stomping tantrum to do big damage in between before you wake up ev spread we've got 252 hp and yes 252 attack with an adamant nature and the ability here for this raid den doesn't really matter you can go rough skin sand veil whatever you want with this garchomp but that is the garchomp all in all 
covers that poison electric and fire type blissey the next one up is going to be azumarill water and fairy type and with the fairy terror typing again shell bell going to be the item here for a line of recovery whenever you do damage you recover a portion of health back for the damage that you've done to the pokemon we're going to have an ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack adamant nature again ability is going to be huge power and then the moveset is going to be belly drum misty terrain liquidation and play rough First turn, a little bit like the Iron Hand, set up the Misty Terrain turn one. It prevents any sleep conditions or status conditions on your Azumarill as long as that's on the field for five turns. Then you can freely belly drum, and then you can use your player rough to hit the Blissey for super effective damage. You can take this in, like I say, against uh, water weak Pokemon like your rock, your ground and your fire types as well. So it does have a bit of flexibility around those Pokemon. The Shell Bell item though I think is a nice one here since you do have the Misty Terrain to prevent the sleep and you're not relying on something like Sleep Talk to kind of get around the sleep condition. It could be a threat from this Blissey. And the final Pokemon is the Ursaring. Like I mentioned in our overlay with the bug typing is the only type that we could in coverage ursaring kind of fills that void for us a little bit because it is going to be a normal type obviously we've got the normal terror type again just to complement its normal type attack to get a, it's, as much damage as possible uh, we've got the flame orb item on here for the ursaring because it does have that guts ability so guts boosting your attack when you are affected by a status condition and the nice thing about this is if you are burnt then you can't be put to sleep so you're immune to that completely 252 HP, 252 attack, adamant nature, you know the drill with these EV spreads for these physical attackers. And the moveset here can be really anything you want. Ursaring gets a lot of coverage moves, but for this one we went specifically belly drum, crunch it gives us extra coverage against ghost and psychic type and then we've got that rock slide which gives us coverage for those bug types if you want a super effective attack against it but you can just rely on the facade there because that does double in damage if you are affected by a status condition you're holding the flame orb you've got the guts ability so it's all stackable you're going to do some huge damage and you're likely going to knock out the blissey if you get set up with the belly drum and get burned on that first turn with the facade going into it the following turn of course if it's a ghost type you're going to be able to use that but you do have crunch and then the rock slide as well gives you the other coverage but that is the earth ring and a really nice one i think just to kind of complement the rest of the team to make sure you don't have any issues and just makes going into these raid events very quick for you to farm these items as quick as possible so that is the team that i would suggest that this will be the team that i'll be using going into these blissy raid events and i think it's going to be a solid one for just farming as many of these items as possible because they are higher payouts they are really difficult items to get anywhere in game very time consuming so this just makes it very quick and like i said these builds if you follow them it'll give you complete coverage against all 18 types of blissy that'll appear in these raid events over this coming spotlight raid event happening this weekend and of course there are a bunch of pokemon that we haven't even mentioned in this video but there are the the likes of Annihilate, it has Vital Spirit, it is a very good Pokemon to take into 6 star Terror Raid, so a good one to go in against Blissey of course as well, and there are a bunch of other Pokemon that we haven't mentioned here. These are Pokemon that are going to give you complete coverage, hitting super effective, which will just make the raids in general a lot faster to run through to get more items in a shorter period of time, and that's the goal of this video today to give you some ideas to make it a lot easier. If you've got some suggestions that you're going to be going into this Blissey Raid event with over the weekend, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. But if you found this video useful, please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all of our Raid videos and other Scarlet and Violet content that we do on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Hope you found it useful. Like I say, have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.